Hey, Hookah John, what are you doing? Oh, I, all right, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Why don't you come over here? There's something uh, other than me sitting here smoking and working on the computer. I want to show you guys something over here. Here, I'll give you the camera and I can show them. There's something that I was thinking about as far as a nice little accessory pack that you guys should have. Check that out there. That is the Hookah Flavor Saver. KM stem brush, which I should take that off, they're not KMs anymore. A purge hose port brush, purge and hose, no. and jumbo tongs. Comes out to, if you put it in your shopping cart, it'd be about $27. All right, and I'm thinking, you know, instead of buying them one by one, why don't we make a little pack for it for you guys? You may think that's not a big deal or anything, but these are some of the miscellaneous accessories that you really, really need to have. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll get off my desk. Smoking a little hay is what I meant today, in case you're wondering. Lotus. Uh, I've been smoking all morning. Lotus, Ferris bowl. There you go. Smoking quite well, but I was gonna do this video earlier, so I figure I'll do it now. Come on with me, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so you guys are familiar with the hookah flavor saver, right? This is a must have for any hookah smoker. Okay, the way it works, you've seen the previous videos. In case you didn't, I may show you a little bit more a little bit later. Uh, basically, you uh, pack your bowl, poke your holes in the foil, put it on top of the bowl, and then put your coils there. And what that does is add a little gap so, uh, for two reasons. You don't get any burning going on uh, on your tobacco. And it keeps a little airflow going there so your coals don't even black out. You don't even have to flip them. Pretty cool, eh? Then we've got these stem brushes. Yeah, it says KM stem brushes on the site because that's what we used to get. But check these out. These are just really thicker, uh, more durable. One way, I'm gonna show you how to use one of these, actually. Uh, tongs, these are my favorite tongs. They're really durable. Um, they're shaped just perfectly. If you want, you can always bend them in like this. You can do that with any tongs. All right, get a shape just right for you. All right, there you go, your tongs. One of the most important things that no one ever talks about, cleaning your purge ports, all right? I'm gonna show you something. We've got some old hookahs here. I don't know if they're clean or not. We've just had them for a long time. We're like clearing up some stuff. And so I'm thinking that I wanna give you an example and show you just how dirty these purge ports are, okay? What you do is you take this off. This is your purge valve, purge check valve, whatever. It gets really grimy in there, okay? So we're gonna do that. Come over to the sink, my beautiful background sink every time. You're gonna wanna do, it's very small, these holes are very small, so you wanna get, I'd say get a little water in there. All right, get this wet. You'll see the grime that comes out of this. All right, get in there as much as you can. All right, let's see what kind of grime comes out of here. Now do the hose one as well. Hose one goes a little more because it's wider in there. All right, I'm gonna scrub that. And let's see if you can see how dirty the water is that comes out of here. It didn't show so much because we keep our stuff really clean, but sometimes you take a used hookah. <clears throat> you guys seem to neglect this part of it. I know lounges do, I know I do. I mean, you really gotta clean in there because a lot of moisture builds up in there. Let's see if this one, this is a hookah that we have in use. Is this clean? This is not clean, I don't think. So let's try this one. Is it clean? Any ideas? No? This is from yesterday, maybe? I haven't cleaned it yet. Okay. These ball bearings. Rusty as crap. It's disgusting. Try to go in there dry. The only problem is, you can't get in here too much. I'm sure like with a Starbuzz hookah or a Regal hookah, you can get in there a little bit more. So you take that out there. Okay, let's see how much gunk comes out, if any. Eh, not so much, not so much. It's hard to tell with the dirty sink, but believe me, there's crap in there. I mean, you can just tell by the color, the discoloration of the bristles on the brush. Look at that, all right. You don't want to be inhaling in there, okay? Let's see if anything comes out of there. Yeah, that one's a little dirty. 
Then what you do is clean this off for future use. So definitely get one. So you guys saw the price was um, uh, 27 bucks. I think, I'll come up with a number. Maybe make it $15 discounted. You guys know how to use coupons at hookahjohn.com, right? You go RHF10, like Royal Hookah Forum 10. Gets you 10% off of orders over $45. So again, uh, must haves in uh, your hookah cleaning set, these two brushes, especially the purge port uh, cleaning one. And then the stem brush, let me check this out. Let me show you how you use this. One of these guys from, I saw this older guy in the industry. You guys don't know him too well, but he's out there. This is the way to properly clean your down step. Okay, you're like, well, I put this in and I just do that, all right? It gets a little hard just doing this. So what I like to do, take this, and it was uh, Ali at Caravan showed me. Just go like that. There you go, get a nice cleaning going on. You can make that there, twist it. Go through the other side so you get all of it. All right, do a little twisting in there. I'm gonna take Ali's style, call it Hookah John style. But yeah, I saw him doing that. So that's one of the ways uh, to clean your hookah. It's a real quick way of showing you how to clean your hookah. All right, I should make a video on how to properly clean a hookah go to pol this thing needs a little polish which I probably won't do not today anyways so that's it check it out we'll call it uh, the hookah John must need accessory package all right I'm going back to smoking and I'll get this up online a little bit along with that and I'll put a link for that product for that uh skew we'll put them together we'll get them out in your orders all right buy everything hookah at hookahjohn.com and see you at hookah John circle of friends on Facebook all right anything else Anything else? That's it. I'll see you guys later. Gotta get back to work. Alright.